Imagine coming to work here. We are in Carpentria on the foothill in the b and nursery. Father and son team Jan and Hans Brand run b &H Flowers. We as a family came over 22, 23 years ago and started this business here from scratch. Their family mantra, to grow the best flowers in the biz without harming the earth or workers. We have the uh, Fairy Flora certification. It's a wide program for sustainability, so not only is it cutting out pesticides, it's a move to organics, but you take care of the employees. Uh, there's an environmental part of it that you don't have any impact on your surrounding environment. Hans has always been committed to uh, sustainable farming practices, and now he's turned all of his greenhouses to be certified sustainably produced, and, and now he has certain sections that have gone all the way to organic, and we're very excited about that. B&H Flowers turns out lilies, tulips, irises, and more. But at this farm, it's all about Gerbers. How many flowers? If you had to guess. This greenhouse probably has got about 60,000 flowers standing ready for. Just in this greenhouse? Just in this greenhouse. Yeah, he said 60,000. And every single one of them must pass strict quality standards. When we test new varieties, we look for uh, how long the flowers last, stem length, flower size, but also how many flowers we can pick per plant. How long does one of these flowers last after it's been picked? After it's been picked, when I give flowers to people for gifts, they always comment back, man, your flowers last three weeks, how's it possible? Three weeks? Yeah. So these Gerbers are totally organic? These are totally organic. These are the first organic Gerber production. That means they're using certified organic fertilizer to grow these beauties. And what we're talking about in organic agriculture is we don't want to use chemicals that will kill the microbial life in the soil. That's the whole point of organic. And none of their flowers get doused in chemicals. We don't spray any pesticides in here. It's all sustainable. It's all IPM and biological controls. And so we have done that for 10 years. So if they aren't using chemicals, what are they doing? Well, this guy's here to tell us. Okay, so Alberto. Hey, how you doing? Brendan, Brendan. hi. How you doing? That's me. Good, good. You're the bug man around here. Uh, here I am. I'm the uh, best control manager in this facility here. What he means is, it's his job to keep the bad ones at bay. And he does it by using good ones. So I'm just spawning one right here. Uh, right on this flower. I see you him. You can see the, white, the black wasp. That's a beneficial insect. That's a wasp? It's a wasp. It's a parasitoid wasp that controls uh, leaf miner. So you have bugs fight other bugs? That's basically what we do. We introduce uh, good insects to, uh, to kill or, or get rid of uh, bad insects. They do that with the help of trained bug spotters. We use different flagging colors for different pests. White flag means white fly. White fly? White fly, it's another pest that is really attractive to Gerbera daisies. This is a blue flag behind uh, you. Blue flag. Blue flag means spider mite. Spider mites? Uh, spider mites. Ugh, I like it, the sound it. of that. They also use sticky traps to keep tabs on just who's living here. This is a really important piece of the puzzle. This is a bad guy. So these tiny little black wasps controls this pest. So why are bugs eating bugs better than chemicals killing bugs? When you have an option to do things naturally and taking care of the environment, I think that's the key. And it's doable, it's possible, and, and it's a fun thing to do. I, I have a lots of fun watching good bugs <laughs> killing bad bugs, so that's, that's, that's a good feeling. I'm happy that the summer sun is here and the workers, that they don't have to use the pesticide. I'm very proud of that. A message they hope to spread with every stem that's boxed up and sent across the miles. Obviously, we strongly believe in a sustainable program, and we strongly believe it's the future. Uh, everywhere in the world, chemicals are going to be phased out, and I think it's the right thing to do.